You see that when they come into the emergency room. Do you feel like you're able to reach them and really kind of plant the seed for change? Certainly because of the intensity of the suffering that can happen in the ER and because people often are worried about their life in general and not just a minor pain or an ache. Because of that, yes, it is possible. And I think it begins with, you know, telling them about their diagnosis, telling them about the options, but also suggesting those other things that we don't usually talk about in healthcare, what I call nutrition, talking about movement, talking about connection, rest. Now, I don't go through the whole litany of things, but wherever there's an opportunity to mention one thing, yes, I take that opportunity. I think of one case in particular, this was many years ago, about a person who came in with severe chest pain. And we did the full workup and I was worried about what we would find. And fortunately, it was not one of the major life-threatening conditions that we would diagnose. Now, it wasn't a major heart attack. It wasn't a tear in the aorta. It wasn't a massive pneumonia. It wasn't those things, but there was still something happening. His pain was real. It was a signal that something was happening. You know, he still probably had heart disease that had not become a heart attack. But still, it was a relief to say that, okay, it hasn't yet crossed that threshold where it is immediately life-threatening. His wife was there and we had a conversation. So sometimes those opportunities are there and those are wonderful times to open up a new perspective.